Probably not. I can't say for certain. Wait. What is that? As I look... As I look on... Hi, this is James from the Big Easy, the host of the Who That Temple on Twitch.tv and on iVlog. And you are watching WGS TV. It's good! Back into another episode of Sakura Fantasy right here on WGS TV, along with Lance Moss. I'm the Russell Gamer, and on the last one, we kind of ran in, into this vacant, emotionless noblewoman who needed um, our help to find her pet kitty, and she made some instant references to looking at stars, and we've been kind of contemplating what she meant by looking at the stars. So now we, we've come across to this decision right here. Where it says either I'll find out what uh, what they mean one day, or does it really matter what they are? What do you think, Lance? What should we do? I'm gonna go with the first one. Okay. If I have to live for another 200 years to find out what they mean, I will. While they may seem, while they may be seemingly impossible to grasp, I must not let that daunt me. All of these glittering lights in the sky. Perhaps the Empress knows what they are. This is all too much for me to handle tonight. It's like there are a hive of insects buzzing inside my head, telling me that I need to know with a thousand tiny voices. My far seeing has always come out with overwhelming curiosity. I'm always looking for where I'm not supposed to. But now my gift cannot reveal any secrets to me. Maybe that's why I'm so frustrated by what the noblewoman said to me. She's the only one who knows and I can't find a way to figure it out myself. Perhaps I'll never know what the stars truly are, if they mean anything. That does not mean I cannot enjoy the way that they sparkle in the sky. Raylin, you're still awake? This is Gwyn, one of her best friends. Gwyn groggily emerges from her bed. She rubs her eyes before she looks at me again. You wouldn't be spying on anyone, would you? It just seems kind of suspicious of you to be awake at this hour. Yet another accusation. I can't get a moment's peace no matter what time of day it is. Even Gwen is suspicious of me. It's not fair. I'm not Gwen. I just couldn't sleep. I had to think. I had a lot to think about. What are you thinking about then? It's not really something I can talk about. Then you were spying on someone. I should have known. You always deny it. I was not. You know full well what I what I look like when I'm far seeing. You didn't see me doing that, did you? But I haven't been awake this whole time. You could have been doing that before then. Why are you the one scolding me? Shouldn't it be Kira? Please lower your voice. You wouldn't want to get caught, would you? No, no I don't. Besides, I wouldn't mind if it were me you were watching. Uh -huh. let, me, let me reread that. Besides, I wouldn't mind if it were me you were watching. Billy, I gotta say, giggity. What was that, Gwen? I think we just answered that question. I didn't say anything. Oh, deny, deny, deny. Let's be honest. That's pretty funny. Let, yeah, let's be honest. Why are we even having this conversation? I don't, I don't know why we're having this conversation. We're saying nothing worthwhile to each other. All Gwen is doing is throwing around accusations. So come on, Raylan. What's on your mind? Uh, there was this woman at the castle. She talked to me about things I really didn't really understand. What did she talk to you about? And why did she talk to you in the first place? I was patrolling the halls of her palace when she lost her pet. I helped her find it, then she started speaking with me. I don't know why. She was confiding in me about what she thought about the council and other things. What did she look like? Silver-like hair, vacant gray eyes, pale as a wraith glimmering in the moonlight. Wind grows silent after hearing that. I see. What did she talk to you about, Raylan? She asked me if I thought the, that stars could fall from the sky. I still don't understand why she asked that, though. I don't know either. You get the feeling that Gwen might know who that noble woman is. She's she kind of yeah yeah she kind of grew silent when she heard her uh, the, the description of the noble woman. Gwen looks troubled by the news. 
She's usually quite knowledgeable about topics like these. It's no wonder you're unable to sleep. Now I'm not going to be able to sleep either. I love a good mystery. I don't. She was speaking in riddles. Why can't she be straightforward and outright say what she means? She would have her reasons, I would guess. I wish I had the answers, Raylan. It's all right. I'm sure we'll work out, work this out eventually. Eventually. It's going to bother us until we work it out, though. Are you ready for a lot of sleepless nights? Maybe not, but I guess I'll just have to cope with it. Anyway, I think we've talked enough. We should return to our bed soon. Imagine if Kira found us talking at this hour. I think I'd like to continue watching the sky. Then I'm heading back to bed. Make sure you aren't caught. When she returns to her bed, I can hear her whisper something. I don't really know what, what though. Raylan, if you spoke to who I think you spoke to, then chances are you are going to be her new champion. More evidence that this probably was the Empress. Yep. Nearly every legendary hero links back to her in some way. But I don't know for certain if that's really her. We'll have to wait and see. I try to draw closer to her in order to listen in, but it's no use. She already stopped talking. I wonder what it was she was saying. I suppose it really doesn't matter to me. I think I'll continue to watch the sky. Will a star really fall? Probably not. I can't say for certain. Wait. What is that? As I look, as I look on the look on at the sky, I see a glowing shape. A streak of light is going across the sky. A great trail of luminous ribbons following it. It's enormous too, almost as if it was swallowing the entire night. One of the old legends I had read as a child described a serpent which ate the night sky. I can't help but think of that as the glowing streak comes down towards the earth. As I look on in wonder, the streak begins to glow, grow larger and larger. Something is falling from the sky itself. But that couldn't be possible. It can't happen. It never happened before. But my eyes do not lie. Something is falling. Never before have I seen such a sight. It's burning, too. A great flaming star is dropping from the heavens. The entire sky is filled with its light now. It's as if the sun has a, had appeared in the night sky. My eyes open wide as I recall th that nobleman's words. One day, one of those stars will fall. One day. She must have known that this was coming. The very ground beneath me shakes as the star draws closer and closer to the ground. Armor plates and weapons ra uh, racks begin to rattle, too. Wait, what if it hits the capital? Would we all be destroyed? No, I won't panic. I have to keep my cool in the face of any situation. There's nothing I can do but hope that this doesn't hit us. To my relief, it doesn't appear to be heading towards the capital. Plummeting towards the earth, I can hear the thundering crack of its impact somewhere beyond the city. It's enough to make the entire barracks wake up. Panic voices echo through the hall, everyone immediately reaching for their armor. What was that noise, Reland? It was a star falling from the heavens. A star? Can that happen? I've never heard of this happening before. It's true, I've never heard of anything falling from the sky like this before. Is it an omen of some sort? I can't say for sure. You know what this means. It was an omen. The panic in the barracks begins to worsen. Arms and armor begin are being wildly thrown on. It's not long before everyone is standing to attention. Raylin, I would get to your bed. Kira will be walking in here any, at any moment. But I can't tear my eyes away from the sky. A terrible sense of dread fills my entire being. What is going to come of this star? There's too many questions that I don't know the answer to. Please return to your beds. There's nothing to panic about. Many whispers spread among the novices doubting Kira's words. How is it not something to worry about? Unwilling to argue with their instructor, most of the novices begin to remove their hastily equipped armor and settle back into their beds. Kira notices that I'm standing by the window. Get into bed, Raylan. That's all she has to say before I return to my bunk. I'm not satisfied with that, though. I think I'll take a moment to see what Kira is doing in her office. I can't let them panic. Things are bad enough in the city as it is. 
If our soldiers panic, then there wouldn't be anyone left to keep order. The best course of action for now is to reassure them that nothing's wrong. I feel bad for lying to them, but it's necessary. So she's lying to us to stop us from panicking. In order to, ke to keep order across the city in case we need to? I think I better look closely at the city then. See what kind of reaction they're having towards the star. As I look into the city, the reaction is about what I'm expecting. There are people running wild on the streets. The guards are trying their best to keep the populace calm. There's nothing to be concerned about. Please remain calm. His words do little to pacify the angry mob in front of him. They throw angry accusations at him. All of them demand answers. Yet he has none to offer them. He just slowly backs away, his pull-arm pointed at the crowd. It's not long before a large, angry mob is gathered. I can see numerous guards locking ranks to hold them back. Yet Kira tells us there is nothing to worry about. I wonder... I would say there is definitely something to worry about. It looks like the city is in a state of panic, too. Yet Kira tells us there is nothing wrong? There is something seriously wrong. Can we really just lie here and sleep on the capitals on the brink of chaos? I want to go out there and to quill it, but I just know that Kira won't allow me. Unfortunately, all I can do is obey her and head back to bed. Oh well, I am sure we will have a chance to quell it soon. And on that note, guys and girls, before we quell anything, we're going to quell this episode. And on the next one, we're going to find out, find out exactly what that storm was and what exactly happened when it came down. So, with that being said, for Lance Moss, I'm the Russell Gamer saying we'll see ya at the next warp zone right here. The tiny cat bounds up on her chest, letting out a happy meow. Who would? Who would? That's true. Doubling her. I wonder if I should have had that up to begin with, to be honest. I do apologize about that. But whenever I cover live shows, I'm, and I want to bring this back in to interact with you guys.